I've got 10 tips for you on how to build a custom Lego restaurant that will fit in any modular city. What restaurant do you ask? Well, let's take a look. This place is as Texan as the Lone Star itself. It is the one restaurant that you will find a line out the door for just a simple burger, fries, and soda. It is one of the favorites of any Texan you'll come across. It is so good that cowboys will be willing to die to wait for it. Yes, it is Whataburger. What Lego city would be complete without a Whataburger? This first Lego tip is to build it on a 32 by 32 pad to allow it to fit within your modular city. This will allow you to be able to move it around to fit around other buildings as necessary. This next tip is to build out the interior not so much to scale for a real restaurant, but to design it in a way that you get the gist of the restaurant, like a booth or a counter. Because building to full scale would take up way too much space in the city, and since space is a premium, we want to maximize it the best we can. I decided to make a removable roof out of bricks and plates instead of out of purely plates. It's far more sturdy and secure and allows me to get a much better angle for the steepness of the roof when assembled. For the crest, I used a brick built center with the cheese wedge slopes along each side to be able to hold the wall in. For the interior, we can see the counter was a modified counter, which is a wing piece with a small cash register. The boots are designed with a two by four plate and two of the traditional minifig utensil chairs to create that booth look. I created a tray with a burger, soda, and a little fry box off of a two by three plate to be able to match what it would look like to grab a meal from Whataburger. I wanted to create a soda machine that was fun and clean and was able to really pop in the back of that kitchen. And so I was able to gather a bunch of one by one modified pieces and assemble them in such a way that you could see what looks obviously like a soda machine from a distance. It was a great little build that we were able to throw into the back of this kitchen. And honestly, it's really the simple touches. It's those little subtle details that make your creations pop. Like this brick built W that I built into the front wall of the building or the little flowers along the front. And of course, making a drive through that has an actual functional window. Through little details, you can really get a feel for what the restaurant is expected to be. With Lego, that is really the goal, is to create something that immediately jogs your memory and produces the idea of what you want to see. In this case, a Whataburger. I was able to add some other details that are quintessential for a drive through such as the road and the drive through sign with a little box to put your order in, as well as some plants and other parking spaces along the side. Really, have fun with it. The goal is to create something that will look like it belongs in your city and look like it has a function. By doing this, you'll be able to have some fun and create something that really is unique to you and to your city and create that personalized touch that you'll be proud to display. Let me know in the comments some ideas that you've done in your LEGO city to create that personalized touch for you. Thank you, and please like and subscribe for more fun building tips.